Greetings! In today's example, we'll be looking at mobile testing on the UPS Access Point app. To start with, we've just kicked off our robot and it's made a connection to a virtual phone. Using this emulated phone, we're going to start by going to the Play Store and downloading the app. We don't need to do that in all cases, but in today's example, we don't have the APK, which you know contains the executable of this app, so this is our only way to access it. Like a human, the robot will go ahead, search that app, and then we'll install it. While this install is happening, the robot can monitor the status of the buttons to know when the installation is complete. And that'll be our first point of validation in this test that we'll see a little bit later as well. Now, once that install is complete, we'll hit that open button and that will launch the app. Once the app comes up, we're gonna accept the license agreement and then we'll enter training mode. Once we're in training mode, we'll select our country. In this case, we used Canada and we'll continue to the main menu. After acknowledging that we're in training mode, we'll also validate that we've made it to this main menu. At this point, we're going to enter a package reference number to add a package to our bag. You can see we enter the package reference number like a human would and press the green plus button to put that in our bag. Once we've done this, we'll be prompted as to what we're doing with the package. In this case, we select customer drop off and then we validate the serial number seen here regarding the package. Having done this, we say we go for the none exit screen receipt option, and then we also validate successful completion of that package delivery. Having done all that, we return to the home screen and our test is complete. You'll also see we uninstall the app to make this flow completely reusable. Now, here in the studio, we can see the test results. As we switch tabs here, we see our four different verifications have passed, but more interestingly are the test results upstream here in the test manager. We'll see that for each of our assertions, we have a little message completely customizable saying what has been checked, as well as a screenshot of what was happening on the mobile device at the time. This way, if there is something we need to fix or if we want to validate the success of a test, we have a little bit more information about really what was going on at that point. Additionally, we have our full logs, our execution details providing metadata, and of course, our affected requirements letting us know what has been impacted by the test. Thanks, everybody.